How do you think it can be justified, Louisa? I think he picked up that they're going back to work today and the CEOs have already been back at work all week. I think that the pay, yes, it can seem extravagant, but you have to remember that they're, they're, they're mostly performance-based. This isn't a basic salary for them. So if they don't perform, they don't get that pay. And they have to perform for their shareholders. You think about a lot of... Um, pension investments are invested in these companies. We all want our pensions to perform. Therefore, mm. we want these people to be motivated to work, to earn the money. Because if they do well, everybody does well. We all do well. What's the difference between sort of earning a, a good wage and then earning £49 million in terms of being motivated? Because do these not people, as, as you know, the, the people that were featured in, in Louise's report there, they are motivated anyway because they just are drawn to the job that they do, regardless of whether they're getting £49 million in the year or whatever their salary is. I think that they'd be less motivated if they were earning £2 million compared to £48 million. So you think the money is a, a huge I factor? Think it's a, yeah, important. I think it's a huge factor in the, in the motivation for them to work. And to be honest, I know that people feel like um, resentment and perhaps uninspired by that. But for me, when I started working when I was 17 um, and I was work, started working for a big corporation, I was motivated to reach the top. It didn't demotivate me knowing that they aren't like, you know, hundreds of times more than me. I was the one that wanted to work really hard and yeah. put in the effort to earn the money. 